This is a scandal of tremendous proportions. It makes Watergate look small. But there's a strange lack of interest of people both on the left and on the right. Nobody seems to want to uncover the truth and just follow leads wherever they may go. Because I think that goes to a lot of really damaging places. Maybe we shouldn't have questioned whether or not President Nixon had any involvement in Watergate. Maybe we should have just accepted that story. Maybe we should have accepted the story that President Clinton had no involvement, had never had sex with that woman, Miss Lewinsky. So just because it's the official story of record does not mean that we should not delve further and to see if really that is the actual story. Yes, they lied. They all lied. Whether consciously or unconsciously, it happened. Now we need to look into why they lied and what were the results of those lies. We can't have these wars reorganize our way of life based on a false understanding of what 9-11 was. We have to go beyond the myth and get to the truth. We have to know. We have to. 9-11 was the biggest don't ask, don't tell. And if it wasn't for the families, we wouldn't have anything. And that's very frightening. We had to take this tragedy um, and do the best we could with our lives and with our country um, to try and make <sighs> the people that are supposed to protect us do the right thing. What I really wanted to happen here is for my children to feel safe. I could have cared less who was in office. I wanted the truth and I wanted what was wrong to be fixed. What we're left with after our journey is no answers, no accountability, and I've wasted four years of my life trying my damnedest, along with the other family members, to make sure this never happens again. Let me just say something real quickly about my son. Please. On the wall in his room, he, it said, knowledge is power. I am only doing this for one reason and one reason only, to carry on his legacy. I'm so pissed off at the American people. I'm so pissed off at this government because of this cover-up. John Gerard Coughlin, Timothy J. Coughlin, Anne Marie Kramer, Christopher Seaton Kramer, and my big brother, Wayne Brian Green. We miss you, we love you, and you are always in our hearts. For this week's trading, the Dow lost more than 351 points, that's 3% of its overall value. NASDAQ was off almost 93, that's more than a 4% drop for the week. We'll take a break here.